Welcome again to Life in the God Lane. I'm Tom West. I hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel where I teach the Bible every day. You'll get something late in the afternoon, early in the evening, every day. And I um, hope you'll subscribe to it. Hit the bell so you're reminded every time I put something out. And um, make comments. Put your prayer requests in the comments section. Ask God to use this to teach a thousand people. And then I want to join you in prayer too. And um, this is a power verse for January the 8th, 2022. It's from Matthew 19, verse 26. I call it God's possibilities. Jesus told a rich young man who came and asked him what he needed to do to enter the kingdom of heaven. Of heaven and Jesus told him to keep the commands, which he said he was doing. And he, so he tells this rich young man, to sell his riches, then give the money to the poor. And he said, then, Jesus said this to the young man, then you will have treasure in heaven, then come follow me. You know what the rich young man did? He bailed out. He wasn't ready to give everything up and follow Jesus. Jesus' response, it's hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. In fact, this is where Jesus said, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Now, he's talking about an entrance, a gate through the wall in the city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem was a walled city, as most of them were back in those days. And one of the gates was so low, it was just real low, and people had to, had to bow low or squat to get under the gate. It was really a low gate. They called it the needle. The eye of the needle is what they called it. For a camel to get through the eye of the needle when it was tough for men was silly. It's almost like a comedy gag. It's almost he's being cute, humorous. And so the disciples respond with, well, then who can be saved? Camels can't get through the eye of the needle, the little gate then who can be saved? Matthew 19, 26 is Jesus' response. He says this, Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Man cannot get the rich guy saved any more than a camel can get through a gate men had to duck to get through, okay? In other words, that's something man can't do. But, he said, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. And this is what it comes down to. See, Jesus would die on a cross to bear man's sin and get it paid for in full. And then he would be raised from the dead three days later, beaten back death once and for all, for, forever and for good. And so God's possibilities fulfilled by Jesus and his good news. It's possible because of what Jesus did. The rich guys can get saved and camels can get through gates that I would have to duck down to get through. Why? Because Jesus died at the cross and was to pay for our sin was raised from the dead. The impossible becomes possible. People can get saved because of what Jesus paid. God's possibilities based on what Jesus did unlimited. Hang on to that today, and I will see you tomorrow.